<laughs> wow. Okay, I'm Brent. I'm Carlin. I'm Zach. And this is an uncomfortable interview. Zach, are you uncomfortable? Are the mics checked already? What kind of cake is that? I'm such a... Well, I'll give that to you. First of all, we wanted to say, uh, Happy two <laughs> album <laughs> fiddler. I got her. I, she made me write some, like write it on a piece of paper, and I thought she'd put second, but uh, but happy two album. Two. She done goof. You can blow out your candle. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Make a wish. Oh, so now you just have you to want, hang on to the yeah, smoky cake. Uh, fiddler two. It just came out. We got you the cake to say congrats. Um, the the sound on the record is obviously a lot different than the first one. Um, were you worried that your fans weren't going to be able to connect with uh, the records? different uh, kind of direction I don't really think that many kids give a shit the song is the song the recording is like yeah have you listened to the Beatles those recordings suck like you can't hear the kick drum you can hardly hear the instrumentation all you can hear is vocals you know and like what was hard was getting out of the mind of being a producer because of doing the first record ourselves that like I had an idea of how I wanted it to sound but once I let go of that then it was like the best thing that ever happened because then this came out, which was a very weird record. I saw you guys got have a bunch of homemade tattoos. What's like the... Do you have any that got really badly messed up? Hold on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this one. Shred. I woke up with Shred <laughs> one morning. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. Why did I do that? And then the next morning, I woke up with Aloha <laughs> underneath, and I was like, a "Couple of weird nights in a row." Shred then. Aloha. I guess that's it. Uh, now that we got your pants off, uh, uh, so uh, so, uh, fit. You guys have one of the the craziest live shows I ever seen. The atmosphere is nuts. Do you ever get worried that someone's gonna wreck your equipment? All the time. They they've bro- broken stuff. Yeah. Well, I was at um, uh, both your shows for CMW here in Toronto. The first one was at All Ages, like just massacre. Oh, There's yeah. people jumping off the balcony. Yeah. Uh, your bass player was on top of the amps and stuff like that. And then yeah. at the end, there was just like a half naked dude carrying there your was. guitar. There was. And yeah. I was like, what are you doing, man? Why are you letting him touch your guitar? Uh-huh. He's so naked. Uh huh. So, like, yeah. <laughs> do, do you ever wake up thinking, like, how am I going to do that all over again tonight? Because it, it gets insane. No, I don't think that. We just played an acoustic set. And kids were fucking climbing the scaffolding. Seriously. And the acoustic set, you know? So, like, I don't think it's anything we do. We present the music, you know? But I think Fiddler attracts a certain kind of person. And those are my kind of people, man. (laughs) The last, like, I would say, what, like, Mondays for, like, three months now? You've been doing matinee Mondays on your Instagram? And you've been uh, doing inspirational movies in 15 seconds uh oh, yeah. you want to we're, we're gonna roll a clip you want to set this one up uh, is it, how go ahead roll that clip roll that clip <laughs> roll out me and my brother-in-law like to sit down a lot and just come up with stupid ideas you know and that's like basically all of fiddler right there it's just a big stupid idea so you guys you have a r kelly mannequin too where did that come from or is it r kelly i i don't know what you're talking about man <laughs> what? what what yeah There's those are uh on your instagram you have a mannequin and oh on yeah, stage. Yeah. yeah yeah and on stage what yeah i don't know what you're talking about man uh, all right we're never uh, gonna get to the bottom of this yeah is it r kelly mannequin or not how it goes yeah sorry it's okay don't know what you're talking about um what? what's the most annoying fashion trend that's going on right now like what do you want to see just stop kids jumping on stage and taking selfies will not stand for that bullshit not really fashion but definitely okay. fresh. <laughs> <laughs> one time <laughs> in england this kid while i was singing a song tried to fucking do it Right? Yeah. And I got my guitar. I knocked the phone. I went, and <laughs> the dude, like, oh, he goes and gets the phone in the middle of the fucking song, comes back to me and says, Hey, mate, you're lucky you didn't break my phone. <laughs> and tries to do it again. <laughs> so I grab the phone, I fucking throw it on the ground, shatters, and get off, 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 off. Open message yeah. to all the kids that are trying to do don't that. Don't do that. That's just stupid. I mean, but fashion, I don't know. I don't know. What's, people what's, wear what they want to wear. Fashion, yeah. <laughs> I Who don't gives know. a shit, man? Good question. I think it's funny that depressed people dress depressedly. 
Yeah, like Isn't everyone's just wearing all in black, and yeah. they're kind of like it's like a big hood over their head all the time. We just played Reading and Leeds, and one of the headliners was Bring Me the Horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they looked really sad backstage. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. Yeah, you and see I that was guy's like, clothing the, company. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of depressing it's, looking. It's, yeah, it's like colorful, but it's like the saddest. Kind of sad. Yeah. I thought that was cute. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you so much for the interview, Zach. Were you awesome. uncomfortable? Yeah. Have you ever been in the backseat of a Hyundai? <laughs> I have, many times. <laughs> and now you've taken your pants off. I have. <laughs> done that too, many times. She's a good machine. All right, cool. We done. Thank you. Sweet. Okay, bye.